Hi, welcome to the Club HQ. We set up the Club HQ to provide a great value, great looking platform to support grassroots clubs in attracting and retaining players, supporters, the community and sponsors. The cost of running football clubs continues to increase and it's a continual challenge to raise the money to keep the club afloat, but also to attract committed players. Uh, we've played grassroots football for years and we've seen it with our own eyes. So we developed this service, which is a device responsive platform, really easy to use for site administrators, website users, and importantly to us, uh, it's a site which is not going to be full of adverts or pop-up videos preventing people from using the site. It's our strong belief that this is your site and your content to use as you will to really promote your club uh, without being distracted by external adverts. So this demo shows you the site when accessed via a laptop or a desktop. We have another demo which shows you how the site looks when it's accessed via a mobile or a tablet. Uh, as I mentioned before, because the site is device responsive and adapts to the device you're using it on, no apps are required to access this, uh, this site on, uh, on your phone. Indeed, we find 85 to 90% of our utilization is via smartphone, which I guess demonstrates how easy it is uh, and how usable it is to use on uh, smartphone devices. Uh, but for the purposes of this demo, we're going to run you through what it will look like on a laptop or a desktop. So uh, immediately as you'll see on the website here, everything you can see is adaptable to your club. So the colors, the pictures, the text, the content. It comes preloaded with default images, which you can absolutely welcome to use uh, or you can change those images such as this header image here uh, to personalize it to your own football club so this football club that we've created is a demonstration football club and it's got four teams within the club and this home page here consolidates everything that's happening within the club so it really buys into that one club philosophy um, which a lot of clubs are looking for when they've got multiple teams and you'll see here on the website the first thing that you'll met with other than the, the heading and the logo and the, the background image uh, is, is latest news so <clears throat> there are two uh, uh, two areas of news that you can put you can have latest news and featured news now the featured news is the most important news within the club and that means that it's pinned uh, or stays at the top of your website to attract the most attention uh, when it becomes latest news as a new news item becomes available or is created by yourself or the website administrators, it will um, move down the site and, and get older. So here you can see it's a sample of a news article which you can click into those, you can change all the images as I mentioned, you can add as much text and, and as many photos as you want uh, to those news articles. And as you scroll down you'll see uh, as with a lot of social media responses uh, sites as you scroll down the news becomes older but it retains the full history it's really easy to find on the right hand side here you'll see the latest upcoming fixtures and events across the club so from all the sites and again you can click into these and you can see what's happening you can tell people about it you can upload details etc uh, photos on there and then as you come down, you will see the latest results across the whole club, which again, you can click into and you can see what's what's going on in the club. You can upload images, you can see the scorers, you can put match reports, uh, you can put um, the photos again, you know, it's really clear and easy to see on the website. Then starting line up, who played, substitutes, all the action that happened in the game as well. Uh, so we'll come on to that into a bit more detail. It summarizes all of that. And then the final area on the main homepage is, is club sponsors, which is increasingly important to try and keep uh, clubs afloat nowadays is to attract sponsors. And sponsors want to see the visibility on your site. So there's an area for sponsors. They can upload their logos and uh, you can click through into their website directly from, from here. Um, <clears throat> 
we'll go across the top heading to give you a view of some of the features. So there's a calendar across the club, so everything that's going on on and off the pitch within your club. And you can click into all of those as previously showed. There's an about us tab, so you can put as much history here as you want in terms of where the club's been and where it's going to in the future. Again, you can upload as many photos as you see fit in this area as well. There's a contacts page, so you can put your address, have a map, contact details, phone, email, all your social media handles, key staff within uh, within the club, and you can see you can write profiles and club biographies for them. Uh, documents, so all imported documents that you want to have access to can be uploaded onto the website. So these are just some examples. You can also link to extern, uh, documents on external websites as well. So here, for example, you know, FA, this is Charter Standard Football Clubs, you might want to put something there about the um, policies and procedures, for example. Uh, here it's using external links. So maybe if you wanted to link to the league's website on the FA full-time website, for example, or if they have their own independent site, then you can link out to those external websites, kick it out, for example, and you can access all of those there. Um, sometimes for junior clubs, they want to put some safeguarding information on there, which is key. And you can just create categories and add as many documents as you want into this area of the site. Now, when we click on to more, this is the custom page area of the website, and you can create as many custom pages as you like. Again, you create categories and then pages within those categories. So for example, here we've got accreditation. Um, this demo, demo club is an FA Charter Standard Club, so it's just some information around what we've done to achieve that, um, how it's recognized, etc. And then coming back into that, we put some honours and records, which is also nice if you have those stats to, to um, have some history on the website. So again, player records, um, record appearances and goals, etc. is always um, a nice little touch to, to add a little bit of history to the website. We've got other clubs that have had um, everything to do with their summer pre-season football tournaments, uh, end of season tours. Uh, again, you can put as much information here with regards to your sponsors, for example, fundraising, charities you might be supporting, uh, all kinds of information. Um, more about the history of the club, for example, so that the options are endless with the, the custom pages. Uh, so now I want to take you back into the team section. Now, one of the the real key areas of the, of the site or benefits of the site we feel is that each team gets its own area of the website so for example let's go into the men's first team here and you'll see that it takes you through to their to their te effectively the team site so each team has their own home page built within your club website and this will just summarize everything that we saw earlier in the club homepage, but purely for the men's first team in this uh, in this scenario. So all the latest news, featured news, just for the first team. And again, the same goes for fixtures and events and results, uh, even sponsors, which can differ uh, from team to team. Uh, but it will also summarize the table for that team as well on their homepage. And again, uh, as you've seen, fixtures and results as you would normally expect, the calendar just for that team, but you can also then create your team members profiles and then you're able to then add player profiles and, and pictures etc for each of your team members. It will have uh, league tables and you can, you can filter that by season and similarly player stats as well. So appearances, goals, assists, cards, uh, player of the match, and you can have you know, all seasons or you can filter by season as well. So it's good to, you know, it retains uh, all the stats through all the seasons. 
Uh, you'll also notice here in the right side of the, the banner that there's capability to share to your social media platforms as well. Both the club platforms, but also players have the opportunity to share uh, information to their own personal social media platforms, so uh, Twitter and Facebook. Now, that gives you a good overall uh, idea of the, of the team website. And as we come back into the, uh, to the main site now, hopefully that gives you uh, a really good feel of what the website would look or what your website could look like if you came by the Club HQ. We think it's one of the best, if not the best value uh, on the market at the moment. Uh, so you can try us for free for a month and then it's simply one pound a month and that's uh, payable annually in advance. So 12 pounds up front, you can cancel at any time. Uh, we don't hold you to any contracts and um, you know, effectively that provides you a full site, no adverts at all on your site. And uh, as you can see, really usable, really uh, interactive and we think will be a real uh, tool in engaging the community within your, within your website and, and particularly uh, attracting and retaining those players. There's, it's really easy and intuitive to update. You don't need any technical knowledge. Um, there's a, uh, an admin section which you would click here if you've got uh, admin rights on the website and effectively that takes you into the administration center. I'm not going to go into full details now, but effectively you can see all the headers here and it's really simple to add, delete, amend all the content that we've just seen on the front end of the website. And you know, there's no saving, etc. It's just automatically saved and you, know, you can decide when or if uh, particular events or news goes live or is published to the site so you can save it in draft format etc so uh, I hope that provides uh, all the information you wanted it would be great for you to come on board with us if you've got any questions then please drop us a line uh, either through social media we're on Instagram Facebook and Twitter with our uh, handle at the club HQ one or you can drop us an email as well uh, to feedback at theclubhq.com and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.